हेलो आई वेलकम यू बैक टू नेचुरल पॉलिटेक्निक वीडियो लेक्चर क्लासेस आई एम योर फैकल्टी दीपंकर घोष इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियोस ऑलरेडी वी लर्न अबाउट द ट्रांसमिशन सिस्टम कंपोनेंट्स लाइक क्लच एंड इन क्लच वी कंप्लीटेड सिंगल प्लेट क्लच एंड मल्टी प्लेट क्लच सो आफ्टर द क्लच वी नेक्स्ट वी गो टू द फोर स्पीड गियर बॉक्स construction and working of four speed gearbox so before we enter into the four speed gearbox let us discuss about some point which is we are very much important to we have to know before entry into the four speed gearbox first sliding mesh gearbox actually four speed gearbox is a sliding mesh gearbox it is the simplest type of the gearbox the following features shows four speed gearbox you can see you can find here that this is the diagram of a four speed gearbox in neutral position four gears are connected to the lay shaft or counter shaft a reverse idler gear is mounted on another shaft and always remain connected to the reverse gear so in four speed gearbox the different uh, position what we are getting that is the first gear second gear third gear fourth gear and the reverse gear so before and en entry into this four speed gear box we have to know about a selector mechanism so uh, the main function of the selector mechanism is to select a particular gear at a time that means and ensure us to not engage two gears at a single time so that is the main function of the selector mechanism so let us discuss about the construction of the four speed gearbox so uh, in four speed gearbox the total number of shaft which is present are number 1 this one is your plus shaft uh, uh, this yellow color uh, this is your lay shaft and in some book it is written counter shaft and finally it is known as main shaft the shaft number 3 main shaft or uh, in some book, uh, of the books it is written transmission shaft another time i will i will repeat it so in four speed gear box we are basically found three shafts plus shaft counter shaft and the main shaft and their relation between these shafts are clutch shaft and the counter shaft are constantly mesh that means whenever clutch shaft rotate it is quite obvious the counter shafts also rotate but the relation between the main shaft or transmission shaft and the counter shaft is these are slidingly mesh that means what does it mean it means that whenever the driver select a particular gear of the main shaft to engage with the any gear of the counter shaft then only the main shaft rotates okay and in four speed gearbox the total number of gears which are present in the main shaft is 3 and uh, in top top shaft we are having a single gear and having a helical t and in the counter gears also we are having four number of gears another thing is that we are using a duck clutch here this green color is having a duck clutch that means uh, this duck clutch we are using to engage the clutch shaft to the transmission shaft or main shaft then let us discuss about the four position which are achieved in four speed gearbox then number 1 neutral position number 2 uh, is your first gear position number 3 number is second gear position third gear position and fourth gear position which can you can say the top gear also and the last one is your reverse gear so let us discuss about the neutral gear position so in neutral gear position as we saw we are having a h mark so we are the in the handle of lever or you can say in the driver which is having the driver cabin and according to uh, this h mark the driver has engage or disengage this gear so when the driver put this handle in the neutral position then what happen the clutch shaft as the clutch shaft and the counter shaft are constantly mesh then whenever clutch shaft rotate the counter shaft also rotate with it 
but in the neutral gear position not of the any gear of the main shaft are is having contact with any gear of the counter shaft so what happen there is no power transmission to the main shaft so you can see the clutch shaft rotate and as it is constantly mesh with the counter shaft then counter shaft will also rotate but no, as not gear any gear of the main shaft is engaged with the counter shaft gear so definitely the main shaft gear e main shaft is not going to be rotated so we can say that no power should be transmitted from the counter shaft to the main shaft so the vehicle is in uh, idle condition so as it is not able to move instead of engaging and the, the engine is running so it is known as neutral gear position then let us discuss about the first gear in the first gear so the driver select this handle by first gear by using this handle so what happen when this these gears are engaged the and the gear ratio in in between the gears are 1 is to 4 that means if the counter shaft gear rotate 100 times then the uh, first gear uh, we are using in the main shaft is you are going to rotate 25 times 25 times uh, so so what's happened now the gear bit ratio in in between them is 1 is to 4 so the speed reduced which is increased by the torque so that is the main fun, the, the function of that gear box to increase the torque which is which is much needed in the case of first gear so this is all about the first gear thank you